Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Chadish. You know what I'm going to say. We are back at it again. Okay. Uh, event update. The HOH has been announced. We got ourselves the latest and greatest coming out. The Fire Barb King. But if your name is Kanthua's dude, you would say the Fire Barbecue King. He says the Barbecue King. So shout out to Kanthua's dude one time, one time. All right, all right. Uh, Hall of Heroes guy is going to be going out for three days uh, from December 11th through December 14th. Um, based on the server time, of course, the 12 p.m. to 12 a.m. So make sure you get on tune with that. As always, it's going to have, you know, three different stages. Um, first stage being able to drop the pieces randomly. The second stage being able to get at least one minimum. And then the third stage um, being able to get two to four pieces. So uh, definitely something you want to get. You need 50 pieces to summon. Um, again, this one is going to be a controversial Hall of Heroes. Uh, if anybody has known me, for quite some time uh, while I make um, you know I go out of my way to try to um, get you guys all fired up um, you know we got to address the elephant in the room uh, this Hall of Heroes is definitely not one of the uh, greatest ones we've had out there right there's been a lot of um, substantial units that I would call uh, you know game changers that have been out there for some people but this particular one um, I don't know if I can if I can classify that that being said that being said We understand that the game the units can change at any given time So I always recommend Taking advantage of the hollow heroes because as you guys know for the for some of you guys that are new to the game This is an opportunity to get yourself a free four star who wouldn't want to take on that You know, that's a great opportunity um, To do that and of course if you're looking for a particular fire-based damage dealer that you know you don't have any you know universal leader skills for then you can take advantage of something like this so let's go over the unit um and see what we got going on here we got ourselves um his first attack that attacks twice that provides continuous damage for one turn for the 50 percent free attack um we got ourselves a uh, a skill that throws the axe at all enemies it stuns them with a 40 percent chance now um, that's not too bad. 40% chance is not too bad at all. And if it, if it can upgrade, um, you know, that's even better. So let me see here. Let me see if I can back up one. I know I got a couple of bar kings, but I don't know if I, if I failed and saved them. Or I saved a different one. Oh, I have the wind one. I'm sorry. I saved the wind one. I, I don't have the fire one yet. So, um, but yeah, no, so going back to these, uh, particular units here let's take a look at those skills again one time uh, third skill has an opportunity to um, do more damage if the unit is less than 50% HP and then it has an ability to increase your attack speed and recover 10% HP your turn now the question remains who might come to us developers out there you know it says it increases your attack speed right but we don't know how much it increases or if it increases based on a certain percentage um, you know, oh, you know what the case may be. You know, we don't we don't necessarily know that. In addition, ten percent HP every turn is nice, but um, considering this this is a damage based unit, you know how how much is ten percent HP? This is not something that it looks like we're going to be stacking, um, you know, HP on right. Um, this this to me this looks like a damage dealing unit. So generally, we're going to be focused on, you know, making him do as much damage as possible. Now, Sutter. Um, from from what I've seen um, from various forms or whatnot, um, it is my belief that the damage modifiers on these uh, second and third skills haven't been too promising. But again, guys, like I stated before, um, these units can change at any given time. There's nothing more aggravating than um, finding out that a unit like this got completely revamped to be one of the top units in a game and realize that you have the opportunity to basically get the unit and if you're in game, max it out and and not take advantage of it so um you know definitely make sure you get a couple of the fodder um and again uh, you know for me this is kind of one of those situations where i know that for me right now i got a couple more things to focus on but uh, i definitely would try to pull some more and then if it is a quick clear meaning you know i can find a composition that allows me to clear it in three minutes um or around that time then you know yes i might farm it out for 12 you know 12 to 13 pieces so i can max it out in the future um if I get the one I want. And then in addition, 
you know, who knows, you guys might get the light and dark or, or the dark uh, Barb King, you know, to, to go ahead and skill those up. So that might be something to play around with. But overall, um, it is a Hall of Heroes, and it's definitely worth taking advantage for. I definitely recommend to get it out there because, again, if you are um, new to the game and you don't have any any cool leaders that can take advantage of or, you know, have any uh, leader skills, you know, for guild battles, um, while defense, you know, per se is not the most popular one out there, um, I will be coming out with a video shortly talking a little bit about the defense modifier and, you know, why I, can, I feel it could be valuable to the game today. So stay tuned for that, guys, and stay tuned for this Hall of Heroes. Um, again, um, you know, what's your take on this unit? I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Make sure you put your, um, you know, questions and comments down in the comment section down below. I'm looking forward to hearing from you, okay? So thank you all for tuning in. This is Childish and Childish Plays checking out. We will see you in the next event update.